So you could see basically this bluish fascia. It's uh, very thin. You could come out with those. So it's basically translucent, and that tells me I'm in the right muscular plane. Just doing a little bit of uh, dissection here. If I were to see thicker, whiter bands of fascia, that would probably mean that I'm too medial, and that would be towards the sartorius. So this kind of bluish translucent fascia is what I'm looking for. So we have this uh, neat retractor here. So I've just created a little superfascial plane. We put this uh, inner ring here. This helps protect the skin edges, gives us a little bit of retraction. So we can roll this down and you can see now we're nicely exposed over the TFL. I'm gonna incise the uh, fascia in line with the muscle fibers. So it's always a nice check to make sure I see the fibers in line with what I would expect with the TFL. And we're incising that up and down. So that's the tensor fasciolata muscle. And what we do is now we shell this out from inside the fascia. So you can see it comes out really nicely. This is a little bit of a modification from the traditional Smith-Peterson, which would go between the sartorius and the tensor fasciolata. This is gonna go kind of through the tensor fasciolata. So you see, I've basically dissected the TFL free from its fascial plane. So now I'm using my finger to get a finger over the superior femoral neck. I'll take a curved O-Frank or Cobra retractor and this will s basically go over the superior femoral neck. So we have um, now getting into the deeper layers. I'll take a Langen back, please. Uh, on the other side of the table is going to be retracting the rectus femoris. So the deep interval is between the gluteus medius and the rectus femoris. You can see the gluteus medius right there. And now we're going to be mobilizing that muscle medially. And then we start to see fat. Now another relevant anatomy is the vascularity in this area. And that's gonna be the lateral femoral circumflex vessels. So again, just completing my mobilization of the rectus musculature. So you can see these vessels right here. So that's the uh, lateral femoral circumflex vessels. Uh, these can either be ligated or cauterized. I prefer cautery, but they do have to be done completely. Otherwise they will continue to bleed through the case. So, <clears throat> so these are the lateral femoral circumflex vessels. And they should be kind of in the midpoint of the incision. And that would tell me that I'm in the right proximal medial direction. Okay, so once I've gone through those vessels, I can safely dissect a little bit deeper. And I'm just doing it bluntly. So I can now get under the femoral neck here. So we have one retractor superior to the femoral neck, one retractor inferior to the femoral neck. And now we're gonna try to isolate the capsule. So I'll take a, a deeper bovi, please. So basically this is rectus femoris. When we get below it and uh, mobilize that medially, you'll start to see the iliocapsularis muscle, which is a muscle that lies right on top of the anterior capsule. Okay, so this is rectus femoris. And then deep to that, you can see fibers of the iliocapsularis. So again, I'm trying to really stay on top of the capsule here and I'll use this elevator to get that plane. We're gonna take a curved acetabular retractor in a minute. So basically I'm dissecting directly on front of the capsule here. So now we're gonna take this retractor just like that. And perhaps um, we have a little retraction with the light here. Good, so we could take this out. But basically I'm trying to uh, dissect and free up the capsule. So it's, it's a small interval. So anterior approach, the visualization's harder, particularly for the assistance. It's a smaller incision, so we're usually working pretty deeply. At this point, we have our precapsular fat. So we're directly on the hip joint. I'm gonna just excise some of this capsular fat to give us better visualization. And uh, we're gonna open up the capsule shortly. So the idea is to open up the capsule right along the femoral neck. 
to give us the best visualization. Okay, marking pen. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good shot at our capsule. It's right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the femoral neck all the way from the acetabulum down the femoral neck. You'll see joint fluid now coming out. I'm going to take a Langen back. So my idea here is that we're cutting the capsule all the way from the acetabulum to the inner trochanteric ridge longitudinally. And there are many different ways to cut the capsule, but this is what I found works well for me. Okay, so now you can see uh, we've opened up, you can see the femoral head, you can see the acetabulum. Right now I'm going to tee this open, so right along the acetabular ridge, the rim, and um, you see the, this is the medial tee. So I've just opened this capsule up a bit, and what that's going to allow me to do is uh, visualize the acetabulum and dislocate the, um, the head. All right, so you see that T. I like to repair the capsule. So uh, we're gonna preserve this, put some stay sutures in here, and then repair the capsule at the end. Um, some people excise it. I think that's a fine way to do it as well. Uh, it makes your visualization a little bit easier. Okay, could I get uh, some rotation on the leg, please? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm coming along the medial neck with my medial limb of the capsule and I'm trying to get all the way around medial neck and posterior even if I could see the lesser trochanter that would be ideal so okay so but what I've done is I've opened the capsule medially so I can come all the way around to the and now we're going to do the same thing laterally so that we can uh, have the full exposure of the neck and now these retractors which had started outside the capsule, we're now inside the capsule. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's position this like that. So now you can see the head and the neck, right? And you can see, um, I'm gonna have, give some full traction. She's pulling fully out there, so you can see the head come out a little bit. And I like to dislocate the head while it's still attached. I think it's easier that way. It doesn't always work, but we're gonna try that. And now she is going to release the external rotation lock, and then we should be able to pull this head out. Okay, so I just dislocated her head. Yeah. Now the reason I like to do that, elevator please, I like to do that because it helps me see a little bit more posteriorly. Basically I want to see the lesser trochanter. <laughs> 